I'm going to say something and I can be almost certain that you will not believe me. So let's try. What you see here on the picture labeled as A is what we generally recognize as human liver. Now I know you don't believe me and that is because you are right. This is obviously not human liver. But I'm also right and this also kind of is human liver. So let me elaborate on this slight confusion we have here. You see, this is not a real, full-sized, within a human body liver. This is a mini liver, an artificial one that can be created in the laboratory under suitable conditions. This is what we call an organoid. And organoids can be created for different tissues and in different ways. That's a story for another day. Today we need to think about why we need to create organoids in the first place. Well, in our case, we want to do it because we wish to study hepatitis virus infections of the liver. But let me back up for a second here. Generally in biology, when you wish to do research that pertains to a particular organ, what you would do is you would take the cells that are the most relevant for that organ, and you would feed them and grow them in a dish, like the one you can see on the picture labeled as B, on a flat surface dish. And then you would expose them to different conditions and see on a molecular level what is happening to these cells. The problem with this approach, however, is that the cells find this 2D environment unnatural and hence they lose many of their properties that make them unique. And this is exactly what happens in the case with hepatitis viruses. You see, if these cells are going to be used for studying hepatitis virus infections, these cells need to be infectable. And how this happens, generally, the process of infection, the virus will latch on to something called a receptor. This is a pocket on the surface of the cell, like the one you can see here on picture C. And in a 2D setting, in this flat surface setting, cells will lose this property of having this receptor, and thus it's very difficult to infect them and study the virus. This is what we do for our project. We make mini livers, 3D small organs that should emulate the human physiology much better and then select the ones that are the best ones in imitating the real human conditions. This is really important because millions of people around the world are suffering from hepatitis virus infections. Even millions more suffer from general liver disease, diseases and they are waiting for a cure. And if we wish to speed up the process from the basic laboratory all the way to the clinics and pharmaceutical innovation, we must have models that emulate human physiology much better. And this is what human organoids are attempting to do. Thank you.